Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kabo Bukibo and today we're having yet another segment of Ask Auntie Aggie where you get to ask your favorite auntie, myself, some relationship questions and I'm going to try guys to the best of my ability to answer your questions and help you through some of your struggles, some of your dilemmas. Remember though that I am no love expert, I am no guru when it comes to matters of the heart. So everything I say will come from either my own opinion um, some experience, a bit of research where necessary, but do take everything with a pinch of salt. Every relationship is different and therefore people are different. So, you know, handle every matter differently accordingly. This is just some advice, some tips. Take it with a pinch of salt, apply your own mind to it and then make an informed decision. If you're joining us for the first time, if I were you, I would pause this video right now. Quickly run downstairs to grab myself a bowl of uh, popcorn. Come back, sit back and enjoy the ride. Please do subscribe before you leave. Comment on how we can make the section better. And yes, guys, I hope you will enjoy Auntie Aggie's Q&A today. Cheers. Stay tuned. <laughs> guys the first question has come around so many times it's around how myself and my partner met somebody asked me auntie Aggie, how did you and your partner meet guys i think it's such a long story right i'm going to speak to him my partner is very private but i'm going to speak to him you know i'm going to charm him into agreeing to film the story of how we met and then you guys can like get the whole tea but long story cut short we met at the office we met at work at the time i was a final year student and i was doing some um, winter internship there and he didn't ask me out until like a year and a couple of months later but yeah we basically met at work it's not as boring as it sounds so yes I'll try to convince him to record a full segment with me and we'll spill all the tea on how we met so question two says auntie Aggie is it true that you should date your best friend okay so what do I think? Is it true that you should date your best friend? This this is twofold, right? When people think of dating your best friend, they think that a guy friend that you already have in existence, should you date that person? And, well, I've never dated a friend. I've never dated somebody that I was friends with and then we became um, lovers. But I am best friends with my partner right now. And I think it's so important to cultivate uh, friendship within a relationship where you're not just all lovey-dovey all the time but you guys can get real about issues and you guys can joke around can play around my partner and I are very playful we friends in the sense that I'm free to speak to him about the same things that I can hit my girls up on I tell my friends when I've been hit on like I'll come back from the office and I'll tell him about my day and if I was hit on if something happened I'll openly talk to him and be like yo Lala you will not believe what happened today it's kumbuzo or whatever whatever the case might be and and I think it's so important because then it, it, it cultivates that, you know, that comfortable environment of speaking freely. It cultivates the, 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 it helps you guys to be able to communicate better. So I definitely think, yes, you need to date your best friends, but friendships develop friendships grow over time and therefore strive to build that within your relationship you don't have to go and now you know i don't know fall in love with a friend you already have um you can cultivate friendship within your relationship i think it's very important i hope that answers your question anonymous third question says and this is quite loaded right it's got like an opening statement so hear me out it says not posting our partners on social media has become a thing or do I think, what? No, sorry. Not posting our partners on social media has become a thing. Or do I think, or is it just a way of us trying to save ourselves from the pain of having to delete things in the event that the relationship ends? Um, so let's first cover the issue of posting your relationship on 
so called um, social media you're also who are so called on social media so for me personally like i said my partner is a very private somebody um i do post him every now and then if i feel like it there are days where i just want to show off and brag um there are some days when i want to acknowledge and um you know just yes acknowledge him in public and we've spoken about it and he's like you know what my babe do you do what you're comfortable with and so i post him i won't necessarily tag him because i know you'll be looking for his handle <laughs> i don't tag him but i'll post him there and i'll say whatever it is that i need to say and he's quite okay with it but him um we've been dating now in december we will close off three years of of our relationship does he post me? He's not big on social media. Yes, he does. Every now and then he'll post a story or he'll post a picture and say what he needs to say. But I strongly believe that that's a conversation that you need to have with your with yourself and with your partner. Posting your partner shouldn't be about public affirmation. It shouldn't be about public validation of your relationship you guys know what you have together you don't have to seek validation from your followers from everybody else who sees your posts um yeah it's a conversation that you need to have but just because your partner is not posting you on facebook or twitter or instagram or or whatsapp then you think or maybe or you're thinking that no maybe you're not the only person i think we, we we obsess over the wrong things um your partner posting you should not put a stamp on how real your relationship is um also just be like this person spoke about like you scared that if you post your partner then vouchers vouchers and, and savages are going to be out here wanting your mans or your girl, you know, um, that that should really be about how strong your relationship is. That should be about the values and principles that guide your relationship, that your relationship is built upon. I think it takes two to tango. So just because you've posted your person and now hands are sliding into his DMs, you think that automatically, like, that's a question of trust between the two of you guys. But what I what I do advise against is pushing for people to post us because you want the, the public validation of the realness of the relationship. It should not be so. And then the last point about maybe when it ends or should the relationship not work out, now you have to go back and delete all those years of posts. That's really up to you. Um, when I post my person, I'm not thinking, Ish, what if things happen and we don't work out and I have to come back and delete this. People say you need to have a room for disappointment, but I'm so bad, guys. Um, I'm so bad. Maybe I live in a fairy tale, but I don't ever think about my relationship ending. So I think when you do start having those thoughts, Zahore, what if it doesn't work out? What if this? What if that? Then hold off on it a bit until you get to a point where you sure nothing is for sure you know nothing is guaranteed i might be here saying this to you and then tomorrow no it's not gonna happen touch wood but i'm just saying you get what i mean so yeah i think what are your reasons for wanting to post your person i think intentions are very important don't be doing it for the wrong things don't be doing it for social validation if you want to post your person post them if they're not posting you and you're concerned ask them and they'll open up and tell you about their fears if they have any they'll open up and tell you about their insecurities they'll open up and tell you about the real reasons why don't force them don't push them everybody does things differently everybody processes things differently i don't know i probably posted my person quite a number of times since we started dating and he's only posted me a handful of times it's not a competition i'm not looking for public validation i know that this man loves me and i know that we're spending the rest of our lives together so just just weigh you know your reasons for wanting this so badly um question number four we've got five questions no six questions so questions question number four is it wrong to know what you want in a guy? Absolutely not, my darling. So if you watched my first um, Ask Auntie Aggie segment, I spoke about the seven tips to finding love. I spoke about the importance of knowing what it is that you want. But guys, it's so important to know that 
um, you know, people will tell you that you're single because you're choosy. And sometimes this is the case. Sometimes you are so specific and you're looking to the T for what you think you want and what you think is good for you, that you might be passing out an opportunity to meet a really amazing individual and have a very happy and beautiful love story. There's nothing wrong with knowing what you want. I always say to people, don't settle. What you want exists. I think we need to pray about the things that we want because we can also almost be unrealistic in the things that we want and this is where prayer comes in to say god please guide my footsteps order my footsteps god lead me in the right direction i want a man who does a b c z e f g whatever but are you worthy of the man or the woman that you are demanding or you praying for it's twofold you can't be wanting a person who's made who's this who's that who's that are you are you at a point to match up are you at a point to level up to be a person worthy of handling and receiving and um you know responding to that type of love it's twofold so you can't be sitting here and making and and you know having a checklist you will find somebody who takes your boxes but be careful that they take the most important and fundamental um boxes because you're not going to find everybody who takes all your boxes in the same way that you will not take somebody's uh, boxes the delic often you know so no there's nothing wrong with knowing what you want you need to be you need to you need to know what you want you can't just be accepting whatever comes you know um you can't be aiming blindly you can't be shooting blindly sorry you need to aim for something but pray about it and you know pray for god to prepare you as well so that in during your time of waiting during your time of praying during your time of wanting and yearning for this specific person that way now you are a person compatible and worthy of what you what you're asking for um question number five what happens if i fall in love with a man i was initially just having fun with and he is in a serious relationship or even on the verge of getting married Woo! i said you've got six questions um i made a mistake this is the last question Hey guys, and I eluded. Hey, I beam. I it turf. Let's let's read it again. What happens if I fall in love with a man I was initially just having fun with, and he is in a serious relationship and happens to be on the verge of getting married? So anonymous wants to know. She's been having fun with this guy for a while. She's fallen in love with him. They're seemingly in a relationship, but Mugai is getting married to another woman. Personally, I say leave it. Um, what is yours? What is truly yours will be yours. I believe in monogamous relationship. Um, and you know, I'm very clear. I've always been very clear from the upfront that I want to be your only one in the same way you will be my only one. And you know, Anonymous, I think you deserve better. I know you deserve better. I know you deserve a love that is truly unapologetically, unashamedly yours. A love where you are not a kept secret. A love where you can walk out in public and hold hands with your person and go on holiday and have fun and you're not constantly looking over your shoulder or who's looking we can't hang out here because the wife or the friends or whatever that way to leave it i'd say leave it you will find what is meant to be yours you will be happy with somebody else yes you've fallen in love with this person and it will probably be difficult to break it off and i mean the longer it is that you stay with somebody the more difficult it is to walk away from that relationship but um I've heard a lot of girls tell me that Kabo, he says he's going to leave his wife. Kabo, he says he loves me and he wants to be with me and he's not happy in his marriage or he's not happy in his relationship. It's only a matter of time until he dumps her. And then it's six months. And then it's a year. And it's 18 months and it's two years. And you are still a secret. I definitely think you deserve better. You will find a love that is yours. You will find a love that you deserve. Pray on it. But you don't want to be, you don't want to get your love by stealing somebody else's happiness. Think about this woman. Think about how it would break her heart um, when or if she is to find out that you've been sneaking around Le fiance Yahai for all this time. I don't think it's fair. And this guy or this woman who's who's doing this to their partner who's in a serious relationship, you know, this is very unfair, but this is the reality of life. This is how this is how things happen this is people do this and it's absolutely normal but i don't want us to be you know um 
to those people who play a role and contribute in this um so long story short baby girl leave it you will find a love that is yours you will find a love that you deserve you deserve to be loved you deserve to be unapologetic and ashamed about it nobody deserves to be a secret unless you choose to be a secret until and let you know there are some people that are just like i give back my tata how go home do what you need to do with your wife not with your mom now if you want a good time so people choose what they want for themselves if you are the person who's saying i don't want to be a secret i don't want to be your um weekend special i don't want to be your festive fun um leave it leave it leave it leave it rapella munno mubatlang and god uga o faena at the right time we're done and that's it guys for ask auntie aggie i hope i've answered your questions i hope i've given you something to think about and if you have more advice for our five anonymous um q um who what can i call them our five anonymous love bugs who have submitted their questions please please drop them in the comment section below we're gonna have this again not next week but the week after that so do submit your questions through to myself via dm my instagram handle is in the description box alternatively if you don't want to be anonymous you can always drop your question in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer it to the best of my ability enjoy your week further guys thank you for joining me don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, yay! Notification bell. And yes, Auntie Aggie loves you all so, so much. Goodbye and see you again next week. Cheers!